Hi and welcome to my review of Traction 3. Traction 3 is a music software program that you can pick up for, uh, I believe it's, uh, you can get it um, on sale for, I think it's under $50 for the basic package and I recommend Traction 3 because um, it's a good, uh, it's a good full functioning music software um, if you're just getting into computer music and uh, you know you find it uh, it could be overwhelming because some of the pro um, programs out there are really complex so um, this way you won't be overwhelmed with everything and you know you can get the uh, I recommend getting the basic software you know just traction 3 just get the you know the project pack or the basic pack or whatever and uh, it has everything you need and as you can see I'm running it on a PC and it works on Windows 7 and um, one thing you do need is you need a keyboard so I'll show you my keyboard uh, there you can see my keyboard so you need to have a keyboard connected to it so you can you know play chords or melodies and things like that and you can also get a mic and you can connect a mic to it and you also need a sound card um, so uh, it's got three basic windows you have your project window that is open or you know whatever project you're working on you have the settings window and then you have like the files which is you know lists all the projects that you have and let's see so I'll just give windows a second here Okay, so Okay, so here's the projects and um you can see you can see the menu it's got new project open project and then it's got like a menu and you can just choose on your project I already have it open so I'll show you the settings window now okay here's the settings window and this is where you can set up your software and your hardware um, so Here's where you can see your sound card under audio. You'll see your sound card should come up and then you can choose like uh, the device and I've got two here, ASIO and direct sound. So then it's it should, um, uh, you can click here, it'll only show the enabled devices and you can see here's my outputs and then if you scroll down those are all my inputs. So you can see I've got ADAT, I've got SPDIF, and then it's got MIDI. So under MIDI, you can you can find your keyboard uh, if you have any other MIDI devices. Here's plugins. Plugins are for software instruments and things like drum machines and synthesizers. And you can add if they're in a, if you know where the folder is located you just hit add path and then you find on your computer that folder and then you click OK and then it'll add it there and uh, and then you have to scan it and then it'll find your VSTs and then when they're set up correctly we'll go right into the project and here you have all your tracks you can scroll it up and down Here's track one, track two, track three, track four, track five, track six. And uh, if you've got a MIDI keyboard set up like I do, you can just click uh, left click on the track and then you scroll down and you can find here all my sound card inputs. And here's my keyboard. There's my keyboard, Remote SL. Um, so basically, and then 
you know, here it is, I have the remote SL already added, and there you can see there's the keyboard, you can, it has some MIDI information right here, and um, so now when I play the keyboard, uh, that's a horrible sound, but you can see that it'll play it right there. It'll play uh, play whatever sound that I ha have it set up to play. So once all your software is set up, then you want to add a software instrument to your track. So you would click on this new filter, and then you bring it down to the track. You can see it turns red. So so you wanted to add it to this track here, then you let it go, and that gives you the list. And these are all of the software that I have on my computer. So you can see that Traction gives you a good amount of stuff. So Traction. Here's what you get, like just with the basic traction, and I even haven't even installed everything. So you can see it's got a bunch of stuff here. Traction. This is what I installed. Here's the Mackie plugins. These come with it, and these are very helpful plugins to have. You know, you got your reverb, compressors, final mix, panning, compressor, EQ, and then here's some free instruments that came with the program. So let's just see if we can find something here. So there's a GX10. And okay, so that's basically it. And then if you want to record, you just hit record. play it back. And you can also edit the MIDI clips. So you can scroll down here to look at this track. And you, there you go. Oops. So here's a MIDI track right here and then you can, you know, you can uh, you can pull this bar along and you can see it better. And, uh, you know, you can shrink it or make it wider. And here's the menu, so you can see there's a velocity. So you can see the velocity. You unclick that, you can just see all of the regular. And then here you can select MIDI and you can draw, you can erase, and here's a line tool so you can draw in MIDI notes with a line. And uh, once you select them you can do interesting things too. You can uh, quantize the tracks uh, to the note lengths to start note times. And you can apply grooves, you can equalize and things like that. See, it's it's got some good MIDI features as well. And uh, you can also record on the track, like you can record if you put in a mic, so say I've got a mic connected, then you can click on the record and you can re record vocals. So it's pretty unlimited and you know, you could even connect a guitar up and you could record the guitar and you can import music, so you can import a file, so you can select a track and then if you've got an import, you know, if you have a sample you can import it, you can find it on your computer and you can add it and uh, 
for mixing it's pretty cool too because um, once you have your track here you can hit autumn A here and then you can automate and you can like automate the volume so say so you want a volume uh, parameter and it's got other ones too here you know you can uh, depending on the synthesizer you're using or the VST you can choose um, some of the parameters to automate and uh, so here we can do a volume and I'll show you how to do that so it creates a volume uh, a line where you know it'll and then you can actually click on that line and you can add um, you know you can add little points on the line oh there we go and then you can drag those points see so there you can modify the volume of the track that way it's good for mixing it's really good for mixing and then to wrap up the whole thing you can export it um, you can create an audio file you can create an mp3 file and it gives you this little window here and then you can record it to mp3 so it's basically I mean uh, some of the programs out there are really complicated and if you're just learning um, if you've got a musical background and you just want to learn how to record you know uh, your piano or anything like that vocals um, you know in a professional kind of way you know with some editing involved and you can add effects and things like that I mean you pretty much can't go wrong for forty dollars for traction three so anyways that's a quick uh, a quick um, summary of traction three for you thanks for watching